Hey violins, this uh, video is to talk about the notes that we have on the D string of our instrument. And once again, it's really, really important that we know two big things. The first thing is good dogs always eat, which is the order of our strings. And then the second thing is that musical alphabet. And then we'll start figuring out why that's super important. So remember, good dogs always eat helps us with the violin. It does not help us when we're figuring out the notes on the staff. We're saving that for another video. So we're going to review just those four string names. So go ahead and get your instrument up in playing position. Make sure that shoulder rest is on your shoulder, not your chest. Shoulder, that violin sticks out to the side. Drop that jaw on the chin rest. And you should be able to do look ma no hands. All right. When we're holding our instrument here, make sure that you're on the very tips of your fingers. And with your other hand, give me a thumbs up. Point. Get to be super rude. And then bring that thumb down to the fingerboard. Now notice I'm almost at the end of the fingerboard, but not totally down at the end. We want to have room for our fingers when we put them back here. So when we reach for that string farthest from us, that's the G string. G, 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 G. Say and play with me. Ready, go. G, 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 G. That's where we start our good dogs always eat. Now that sentence helps you to memorize those string names, but you should get to the point where you don't have to say that sentence every time you get your instrument out. All right, so we did our G string, moving over one D string. D, 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 D. Say and play with me. Ready, go. D, 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 D. Very nice. Next, we have our A string. Good dogs always A string. A, 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 A. Say and play with me four times. Ready, Go. And then last but not least, that finger or the string closes to our thumb, our E string eat. Say and play with me. Ready, go. That E string shows you why I don't teach choir. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we have our string names down really well. Let's review really quickly our musical alphabet. So starts on A, just like our normal alphabet. And then we go, oh, that's not helpful. Start on A, just like our normal alphabet. Then we go to B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So now we are starting on the D string, because if we kept going, it would be B, C, D, E, F, G, A. But we're starting right here. So I'm going to get rid of this other part, because we can start anywhere we want in the musical alphabet. Let me scooch over here so you'll be able to see this. So now, if we play just our open D, we call that zero fingers. Pointer finger is finger number one. If we're going from B to the very next letter in the alphabet, E, that's going to be our finger number one. F can be F natural or F sharp. So I'm putting this little sharp sign in parentheses here. If we do F natural, our one and two will touch. We call that low two. If we do F sharp, our one and two don't like each other anymore. We call that a high two. Next, we have G. We're still going forward one letter in the alphabet at a time. We are in alphabet order. We're just starting on G, or D instead of A. D, E, F. F sharp, G would be three, and A moves our four. So our hand is going to look like this if we're playing F natural. Our hand is going to look like this if we're playing F sharp. 
So now I'm going to grab the violin. We're going to see what each of these notes look and sound like. So find that D string with me. We're going to say and play open D together four times. Ready, go. D, 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 D. Now, as you look down your violin, you should see four marks on the instrument. You are going to send your thumb and your pointer finger back to that mark farthest from your face. Notice how I have a little space here because I'm holding the violin here, not with my hand. My thumb is peeking over the side. The very bottom of my pointer finger, finger number one, is touching the violin. Now I'm going to take the very tip of that finger number one, plant it down on that D string, and then our other hand always gets the string to vibrate. So we just put our thumb on the fingerboard, reach for that D string, E, but say and play E four times. Ready, go. E, 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 E. Very nice. So now, for F natural, there's not a tape. You're going to pretend like there's something on your fingernail, cleaning it off. Play it that second finger down. F. Let's say and play F four times together. Ready, go. So that's your low two. High two, we're going to send that second finger to the next mark. So now there's a space between our one and two. F sharp, the sharp side makes a little higher. Let's play this four times. Ready, go. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Now for G, that mark is right next to my second finger. I'm just going to pop my third finger down. This is G. Let's say and play G four times. Ready, go. G, 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 G. Last but not least, we're going to add that pinky on. We're going to get the note A, which actually sounds like your open A, the string next door. Here's A. Here's my open A. My voice doesn't change. Matches both notes. All right, four fingers down on the D string. You have to have a really nice straight wrist in order to be able to do this. Here we go. Four times together. Ready, go. A, 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 A. So now I'm going to play each note four times. You are going to play it back four times. I will say while you play. Here we go. My turn. D, D, D. Go. D, 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 D. Add that first finger. My turn. D, e, 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 E. Ready, go. E, 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 E. Low two. Dust off that fingernail. Put that second finger right next to your first finger. F, 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 F. Ready, go. Check in with your wrist, make sure that's still nice and straight. Slide that second finger up. Make sure you slide it, don't pick it up. Just slide it up to the next mark. My turn. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Ready, go. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Plop that third finger down, make sure you still have a nice straight wrist, your arms away from your body. Here we go, my turn. Ready, go. G, 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 G. Now to add in that pinky. Now, before we play this, I just want to show you a lot of the, the beginners will think that it helps to bring their hand up. Watch what happens when I bring my hand up, though. It pulls my pinky back. So make sure you have that nice straight wrist still. My turn. A, 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 A. Ready, go. Now you can play all kinds of songs with just these four notes, five notes, can't count this morning, these five notes. See how many songs you can figure out without any music, just use your ears. Play around, um, this will be a fun over winter break experiment, 
see how many songs you can figure out other than hot cross buns. All right, happy practicing.